Hi, I'm Teddy Atmos. I've been doing a series of instructional videos. Hopefully you guys have been seeing them and enjoying them with dynamicstriking.com. And as part of the series or promoting the series, I've been asked to do some chats, as I've been doing. Maybe you've seen some of them. And this is one in a series of them where I talk about, well, basically anything I want to talk about in boxing. But I've decided to do a few of them about the mental side of boxing and about the parallels of the mental side in the sport of boxing and how it applies in life. The same fears, pressures, inadequacies, uh, doubts that you have in the ring that are amplified because of the nature of the sport. You can understand those doubts. But then you can take the basic understanding of those, the genesis of those doubts and what they do to you outside the ring and how they apply in life and how they can affect you in life the same way they can affect you in the ring. And also that a lot of people, they think because you're a fighter that you're devoid of those doubts, of those fears, of those feelings. The truth is you're not. You just have to deal with them in a stronger way every day. And you learn how to control it. It's your job. But you can learn how to control those emotions, those fears in your own realms of whatever you do outside the ring. And if you learn how to control it, well, you'll be better at what you do outside the ring. So this, this particular one, I had actually written a story and it's published in a book called The KGB Reader, uh, Nonfiction Reader. And the name of the story was Shadows of a Room. And I wrote this story about a fighter in his first fight sitting in a locker room. Just imagine that. Imagine the nerves, you know? Your first fight ever, amateur fight, sitting in the locker room before the bout. And what's going on in the mind? Because what goes on in the mind will affect what the body can do or can't do. And when I say parallel, well, how about the first time you went for a job interview? Or the first time you tried out for the football team when you were a kid in high school or junior high school or the basketball team or the first time that you asked a girl to dance you know how maybe you you wound up not doing it because you know you got so scared and you decided not to do it well that's what this story is about the fighter is sitting in a dressing room before the fight and everything gets magnified because your imagination if you let it, it runs wild. The doing of something is never as difficult as your imagination will make it. Never. Because there's a ceiling on what the doing is. What doing it is, there's a ceiling. There's, it can only be what it can be. The imagination can make it greater. It can make it anything. And that's what you have to be aware of. So here's this fighter sitting in the locker room. And he's... All these things are going through his head. He starts imagining who he's going to fight. He's looking around at guys walking around and he's imagining this guy. And when he imagines that guy and he sees the guy warm up, the guy looks like Sugar Ray Robinson. The truth is, the guy looks like a raw guy, a green guy, a guy who's just beginning, like throwing punches. But uh, in his mind, bah, 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 it's Sugar Ray Robinson. Because the imagination makes everything worse. And he's so nervous, well, he starts making deals in his head. Yeah. This is a fighter. True. He starts saying, well, maybe, maybe I can think it enough. Maybe a fire will break out. I don't want no one to get hurt. I just want the alarms to go off, the sprinklers to go off, and the fight gets canceled. Can you imagine that? But that's what's going through his head. And finally... It gets to a time where 
they put the robe on him, they put the gloves on him, put a little Vaseline on him, and he's getting ready to go out there. And it's time. It's time to go. And he's there, he's going to go. Through all these feelings, he's going to go. And he starts walking out the door. And he's just about to go out. And all of a sudden, the promoter comes in, the guy running the show, and says, damn it. Ah, oh, the fight's off. What do you mean the fight's off? The other guy didn't show up. Can you imagine? What's the moral of this story? And like I said, I've been doing a series of these to drum home a lesson, to hopefully help people. Where the lesson is, as scared as he was, this fighter, wishing there'd be a fire so the show would be called off, all of that he went through, he was still ready to go out there and face what he had to face. That's all that matters. But despite how he felt, he was still ready to do what he had to do. The other guy, the other opponent, he didn't show up. He felt the same way, but he let those feelings control him, overcome him, destroy him. And he didn't show up. No matter how you feel, it doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do. The other guy, when you think you're the only one scared, remember this. The other guy's just as scared. Talk to you later.